We're going to be talking today about ways that you can get great nutrition on the run when you're on the road, when you're traveling, or when you're just too busy to sit down and eat. These are the, uh, hacks that I have used for years and that I think are going to be really useful to you too and staying with your diet. I've got Chad Jackson, who's the head of our marketing department here at Labrada with us today. Chad, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Lee. All right. Appreciate it. So what do we got? It's a good day. Uh, so we're here in Houston. Guess what? We are in the headquarters of Labrada Nutrition's kitchen. This is where it all happens. So it's pretty exciting. So you guys get to see the inside. It's interesting because Lee actually did a Lee's Lunchbox. I don't know if you guys have seen that. If you look it up on YouTube, take a look at it. It's kind of timeless in a sense of you know seeing Lee's Lunchbox. And I was one of these people that actually looked what, what you were actually eating at the time, which was awesome. So we're excited to actually be here. And I'm gonna ask Lee a few questions today. And I think this is gonna help you in a sense, you know, what you're gonna be, you know, how you, how you do things on the road, what do you do on the go? You know what I mean? So you think about it, Lee. I mean, you're, you're CEO of a you know, big nutrition company. Um, you know, you're, you've got a busy life. You've got, you know, grandkid, you know, you've got a grandkid. You've got uh, just all kinds of business. In fact, you're going to be traveling here coming up next week. And so I wanted to kind of get down to, to the nitty gritty and kind of, you know, what you do. And, and wanted to understand exactly, you know, how maybe you prepare for like a, maybe a trip like this Absolutely. or maybe when, when you're on the go. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let, let me tell you what my basic, I mean, my basic go-to whenever I travel, whether it is out of town overnight or whether it's on an extended trip like I'm about to take, I simply take these lean body uh, meal replacement powders and a shaker. And as a minimum, I'll take that. Okay, and then I'll also take these packets of uh, these packets of oatmeal, these uh, like little Quaker oatmeal. They come in a box like this, and so I'll throw these in my suitcase. You know, just I'll throw this stuff right here in my suitcase. And when I get into that hotel room, even if it's 11:30 at night and there's not a restaurant that's open, I simply tear open a pack of the MRP, mix it with cold water, put some hot water on this oatmeal, and I have a complete meal. So that is my my basic go-to uh, uh, package when I'm on the road. Yeah. Okay. Great. And listen, this this is interesting, guys. Back, I think it was about 10 years ago. I actually went on a vacation with these. This is how I packed, and, and I had the, these packets. And uh, anyway, it, these are great to have and, and very convenient. In the they're sense they're of very, they're very convenient. The other thing too is that if you're traveling on a plane, and uh, you know you can't get liquid through, so you know obviously you wouldn't pack a ready-to-drink shaker or a bottle of water. But if you if you pack this, all you got to do is take the empty shaker, put the MRP in it. Okay, ah, and you, yeah, you put this you put this in your briefcase or your backpack, and then when you check through security, you just buy yourself a bottle of water at the uh, bookstore or what have you before you board the plane, and you're you're ready to go. I mean, I, you can you can mix this, uh, shake That's it up right idea. there at the terminal and drink it if you have to. So you know, it's just a, a great way of uh, of getting a, a, a meal on the run, nutritious. The, yeah, that's a great idea, yep. Lee. So one of the other things, so when you're on the road, I know I think you usually eat, you know five or six t meals a day. Um, how do you kind of get maybe in, do you adjust your diet or how, how does that work when you're on the well, road? Let's just say maybe you're on like an airplane, sure. you're going overseas, maybe like you're doing this, this coming week. Chad, I make sure that, uh, that I get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So those I typically uh, plan ahead. You know, I just plan times uh, to do that. Right. Uh, and then in between, I'll get a, uh, a protein shake. So I'll have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then in mid-morning, I'll have a protein shake, like one of these lean body ready-to-drink shakes. Right. Okay. Or a packet of the lean body MRP. Or even on a in a pinch, a in bar. Yeah. Okay. And these bars are natural, they're high in protein, they're high in fiber, they yeah. got nothing artificial in them, they're absolutely fabulous. You know, so those are good for eating on the run. So that takes care of my protein. You know, in terms of the uh, the carbohydrate, you know, at mid-morning I'll just probably have a piece of fruit with it, fruit, you know, okay. like an apple or a banana or something like that. Yeah, okay. So again, just to summarize, sit down, lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then in between, a high protein snack with a piece of fruit. Okay, great. I, I think that's really what I wanted to hear, because. You know, a lot of people think, you know, when they go on the road, they just pitch everything, you know, sure. out, out the window. Say, oh, sure. I've got to eat the airport, i got to eat a piece of pizza, you know, maybe I don't eat breakfast because mm -hmm. I'm on the plane. And I mean, you, it's just about preparation pretty much. It right? is so, about preparation. Yeah. Here's some other little hacks that I, I, I like these uh, little guys right here, these uh, Quaker uh, oats, uh, uh, fruit medleys. Listen, guys, they're a little high in sugar, but, you know, especially like uh, you can have it after a workout. Let's say you're on the road. You can have this uh, uh, with, uh, with a uh, lean body shake and you got a complete meal. 
Uh, or, you know, here's, here's an old standby, a can of tuna fish, okay? Now, uh, I've eaten so many of these in my life that, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what, I've, I've lost count uh, somewhere along the way. But these travel well also. And, uh, and, and this right here, this is a nifty little thing that I like to incorporate. This is a rice pack. And you guys have probably seen this, but you just throw this in a microwave for a couple of minutes and you peel it open and you have yourself a nice complex carbohydrate, get yourself a protein, you're ready to go. So this is, this is a, a quick thing. This is also what you'll find in my travel bag. I'll, I'll typically take a bag of almonds with me and uh, you know th this really helps as, as a snack. It's, it's high, it, sure, it's high in fat, but they're natural fats, essential fats, and they're also high in fiber, and they have some protein in them as well. Really good for stabilizing the blood sugar, and it's a heck of a lot better than eating a bag of fries or a candy bar. Yeah, that's great. And guys, by the way, the, the rice that Ali just, he actually uses that here in the lunchroom too. So he'll just put that in the microwave and he'll actually have two uh, sets of carbohydrates. You know, I, that's I, right. you know when you have it. So that's right. It's a good portion size as far as that's concerned. So that's great. So one of the other things that, that you do, how do you, um, how do you prepare your body for, I know you're going to go overseas you're coming up here. Right. How do you prepare your body for, uh, you know, jet lag and, and almost like dehydration when you're on sure. a plane and, and good, those kind of long trips? Good point. So like a, few, a few things to keep in mind. Okay. Let's start with the last one first, the, the hydration piece of it. If you get dehydrated on the plane, you're going to feel more jet lag than if you don't. So it's really important, especially on, on prolonged periods of time. If you're going to be in an airplane, plane for six hours or 10 hours, you're going overseas, that kind of thing. You want to make sure that you bring along enough water, bottled water, that you can just buy it from, uh, again, from the uh, bookstore right there at the airport after you go through security. And just take enough of that water with you so that you can stay really nice and hydrated because the uh, the humidity in that cabin is pretty darn near zero and it'll just dry you out. And if, and if you get dehydrated, you're going to feel that jet lag more. Yeah. So that's one thing. Yeah. The second thing that I do uh, in preparation for going overseas is I start resetting my internal clock. So if I'm going to go to Europe, I'll start going to bed earlier and earlier each hmm. night until I'm going to bed about 8 o'clock and oh, waking wow. up at about 4 in the morning, which is about uh, 10 or 11 over there in Europe, depending on, on uh, the uh, uh, place that you're going to. Right. So I try to kind of adjust my clock to the time zone as well. Okay, did yeah. you, let me ask you this, Lee. Did you do that when you were competing? I you did. went to Europe? I did. That, that, was, that was my trick. Uh, see, a lot of my competitors would, would not do that at all, and so they would go to to Europe uh, to compete and they would be completely jet lagged and when you get jet lagged it really upsets your body chemistry and so you start holding fluid in all the wrong places and uh, that affects the condition uh, uh, that you know on stage yeah you know you just don't do as well and so what I would do is I would just uh, reset my internal clock by going to bed earlier and earlier you know I would wake up uh, at 3 in the morning and go train Wow. yeah and uh, and by the time that the flight came around uh, I was on, on a European clock and I wasn't jet lagged at all how about that yeah. you know and listen everyone you think about that that's consistency right just putting discipline in there and everything else the other thing I want to tell you about Lee and I'm, I'm just I'm not sharing secrets here but he practices what he preaches he you know when we're eating here uh, he's always got <laughs> he's an example for food he's not you know picking out a bunch of ice cream or everything and just talking about this he's he's doing exactly what he's saying here so it's, it's awesome uh, a couple other things let me ask this is kind of a weird question Lee but you know if you were uh, oh by the way let me ask you this in a TSA environment, you probably it'd be tough to get this RTD, yes. right? Because of yes. liquids. So, yeah. and, like and you said, they, you they would... typically uh, they typically will stop you if you try to get something through that has uh, liquid in it. Right. Okay. You so, know, um, so you'd probably go ahead and, yep. and do the meal yep. replacement packet yep. in a bar, I would, I would maybe take, a bar. Or something. Yeah, I would take and the then, packet in the bar, and, and then your dry food too. And, and yeah, one of these. That's okay. right. Good. So this is the question I want to ask you: If you're stuck on an island, what Labrada products would you take with you? <laughs> Probably a Labrada banner so I can signal airplanes. <laughs> but um, no, all kidding aside, probably these, these MRP packets uh -huh. because they keep uh, for so long. Yeah. I mean, literally, you can have these in your pantry you know, for months at a time, and they're still good. They provide uh, protein, carbohydrates, fats. So this would be my go-to if there was one supplement that, uh, that I had to use. It's got all the vitamins and minerals in it. It's really a great right. product. I agree. Yeah. And let me tell you this, too. If, if you guys like these packets, we actually have these in jugs, too, which is, which is awesome. So they've been selling really well for us. So if you kind of want this in mass quantity, you can also get them, uh, you know, by the scoop kind of piece too, which is great. Um, let me ask you, what? And this is kind of the stuck island, but I would say, 
What's your favorite Labrata product uh, right now? Is it anything that new that we have, or well, or, I, I got to tell you, I, I love these bars. I know, you know, and I'm not a big bar eater. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna just be honest with you. I'm not a big bar eater, but I eat these bars, okay, because they're high in protein, they're high in fiber, uh, they're, they're non-GMO, all natural, they're low in sugar. Man, I could just go on and on. They're fabulous and they taste great. Now, so these are my favorite right yeah. now, and uh, my very favorite is the next uh, new flavor of these bars that we have coming out. Can you tell us what that is? Uh, not right now, but I'm, yeah. I'm going to be letting everybody know here very well, shortly. It's fabulous. It really is. Yeah, great. And you know what's interesting about the bars is, is uh, you know, Lee developed these bars, a long uh, our bar a long time ago, the Lean Body Bar, and he's like, we need the next iteration of, of an all-natural one that's uh, not necessarily just like a candy bar or protein bar, which is great. And I'm telling you, and I know we work here, but those bars are actually the best in the marketplace. Try them. Definitely go to Lebrada.com. Yeah, there, yeah, there's, there's other places that you can get them too. Um, so let me ask you this. Um, there are a couple of things that we've got. I, I, let me just tell you this. Anything else, Lee, that maybe you, if from a tip perspective, can you help? Let's just say you've got the businesswoman or, or even the businessman, or even let's just say that mom that's on the go all the time, you know, carrying kids around to practice and, and just, you know, always darting around and just has no time to cook, sometimes no time to eat. You know, what is, what's kind of their tip? What would you give the, them the, as, as the, kind the of The biggest tip? tip I can tell you is planning. Okay, if, if you fail to plan, then you're planning to fail. You can't wait until you're hungry to say, hmm, what am I going to have to eat? Because then you'll eat anything. You know, and I don't care how disciplined you are. If I get hungry enough, I'm going to go through the drive through at a fast food place. Right. If that's the only thing that there is because that's just the way hunger works. So the, the whole thing is anticipating that you're going to get hungry when you're on the road, when you're busy, so you got to prepare. You know, and it's really easy to go out the door and grab one of these, a Lean Body RTD or a Lean Body Bar, grab a piece of fruit, okay? I mean, that's really easy to do. You know, another thing, uh, you know, is, is learning what to order in fast food places if you're going to go through, right. you know, a, a, a chicken breast sandwich, uh, you know, with no mayo, just some um, uh, mustard and lettuce. Uh, you can get those, uh, you know, at, at a Wendy's, that mm -hmm. type of thing is better than a greasy hamburger. So, you know, it's about making uh, a better choices, choices yeah, right. when, when you're, you know, just pressed for time, that type of thing. We go in depth on that, by the way, in my book, The Lean Body Promise, which is available on the Labrada Nutrition website. It's about progress, not perfection. So no matter what shape that you're in, you can start today to get into better shape. We're here to help you along the way. Remember, you always start by getting a good whole food diet. Uh, you know, eat, eat your whole foods, the nutritious foods, and then use protein supplementations and these quick these quick uh, type of nutritional solutions to fill in the gaps and to help you along the way. That's what we're here for. Also want to let you know that we're here not only to pro uh, provide the products, but we're also here to provide education. If you go to the Labrada Nutrition webpage, you're going to see that you're going to find hundreds of free videos, articles, recipes. I mean, it's just like an entire library of how to get in shape, nutritional products, training programs. I would encourage you to see us there. Thank you for joining me today, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And again, we're here. You know, we've become the most trusted name in sports nutrition because of you. You guys put your trust in us, and uh, we take that very seriously. We uh, want to provide the very best products in the industry for you and the very best education to get you into great shape. I'm Lee Labrada with Labrada Nutrition, and thank you for tuning in today.